welcome to your 45 minutes hip opening class today. It's going to be a chill, like you're giving yourself warm hugs and just relax. I, we're going to use the wall and I have um, a cushion and like a blanket onto the mat to make me feel more comfortable, but anything that makes you relax into the pose. So when you're ready, sit in cross like the position. Use your hand to grab the sitting bone out. Hands relax onto the knees. Roll the shoulders up and open up the chest. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and open up the chest. One more in. Relax the body. Gently closing your eyes. Deepening your inhale. Feel the air. Expand your lung. Then expand the belly. When you exhale, squeeze the belly button in. Press the air out. Deeply in. And longer exhale. Inhale for four, two, three, four. Exhale for six, two, three, four, five, six. Use your own breath. Do it according to your own pace. Count your inhale for four. And exhale for six. Keep doing this long exhale. Keep counting the inhale for four. And exhale for six. Relax your eyebrows. Relax the shoulders. Two more breaths in. Long exhale. One more in. And long exhale. Relax the breath, keeping the eyes close. Notice how your body and your mind feel. When we exhale longer than our inhale, we activate our parasympathetic system. So it tells your body and your brain to relax. Intention setting. Set an intention for the class. It's a hip opening, chill and relaxing in class. Maybe you want your intention to be about relaxing. Could be manifestation for a good night's sleep. Whatever your body or your mind needs. Intention setting. With the intention in mind, we are going to sing three om to start the class. Deep inhale into the belly. Om. Second, deep inhale into the valley. Oh. One more, deep inhale into the valley. Oh. Feeling the remaining vibration. 
inspiration. Gently open up your eyes. We are going to do sit a cat cow. So hands onto the knees. You don't have to move. I just want to show you about this side. Just a demonstration. We're going to inhale, bring our chest close to our knees. Then roll the shoulders, open up the chest. Lift by the chin and up. Exhale, my hands are onto the knees. I'm going to curl as much as possible from the upper back, mid back, lower back. Chin towards the chest, belly button in. So when you're ready, inhale, chest towards the knees. Open up the shoulder, lift by the chin up. Exhale, fingers onto the knees, curl the upper back, root back, and lower back. Deeply in, keep arching the back, drawing circles. And out. Chin towards the chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, curling in, warming up the spine, warming up the lower back, deeply in, and deeply out, really beautiful movement, using your own pace, deepening the inhale, and deepening the Closing the eyes, really sinking into the movement deeply in and deeply out. Relax your eyebrows. Keep moving, drawing circles with the chest. Deep breath in. Try to slow down the movement so you could slow down the breath and slow down your mind. Deepening the breath in and out. Listen to the body move in a way that your body wants you to move. If there's any particular point that feels good, hold there, whatever that you feel like. Remember, in your class, you don't need to look like me. I want you to move in a way that your body is happy. One last breath in. And out. Coming back towards the center, we are now going to draw circles onto the side. This is how it looks like. We are going to arch our back, inhale, bring the torso towards the right, making sure both sitting bone is down. Then when you exhale, crawling in and to the left, you try to use the chest to draw as a big circle as possible. So you're warming up your hips and lower back. When you're ready, inhale, chest forward to one side. Exhale, crawl the belly button, crawling in, 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 in. Bring it to the other side, straight arms. Inhale, bend the arms forward. Then straight arms to one side. Straight arms curling in. Straight arms to the other side. Then bend your arms, inhale forward. Closing the right straw circles in a way that makes you feel good. Bring as big of a circle as possible. Remember to deepen your inhale and deepen your exhale. Move in a way that makes you feel good. Maybe you want to bring your neck into this too. You will look up when you come forward. Maybe bend to the side when your body is to the side. Whatever that makes you feel good. Keeping the eyes closed, feeling the freedom. Feeling the moment right here, right now. When you are listening to your body moving in a way that makes you feel good. Slowly make the circle smaller 
and smaller. Now we come to the other direction for our circles. Inhale, chest forward, straight arms onto the other side. Curling in and straight arms to opposite side. Closing the eyes exactly the same as what you have just done, but just a different direction. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. Deeply in. And deeply out. Feeling this amazing connection with your body. Very often in life, we only listen to our heads. So how does it feel? When you are listening to your body, what is your hips telling you? What is your lower back telling you? What's your chest and your shoulders telling you? Two more back circles in. In and out, start drawing the circle smaller and smaller. Coming back towards the center with your eyes closed. How does your body feel? Gently open up your eyes. We're coming to a relaxing child pose. I'm going to teach you a trick to get a deeper child pose. So knees open up, mat with this in the part, toes at the back. I'm going to come up, grab the calf. Look at my fingers on my toes. I'm going to roll this calf up. Sit on this side, roll the other calf up. So bring the fattiest part of the calf, roll it up. See how this tiny alignment change is going to open up your hips. And when you're ready, we're going to put our fingertips in front of us. Then lengthen the lower back and slide your hands forward. The whole time, keep the hips onto the toes. Then when you're there, relax your head. Relax the shoulders. Relax the upper back, the mid back, the lower back. Let your hips sink down more. Deepening your inhale. Remember our relaxing breath. We're going to inhale for four and exhale for six. With every sound of the bell, relax your body more. Deeply in. Long exhale. Keep breathing. Relax your lower back more. Relax your hips more. Imagine all your tension flies away with the sound of the bell.
When you're ready, deep breath into the belly. Slowly walk yourself back up onto the mat. Amazing job. We are coming to a double pigeon. So you're going to sit in the middle of the mat. Give you a better angle. Give me one second. Yeah, a bit up. Yes. So bring your, hold your right uh, feet with your left hand. Your right hand could be just onto the calf or could be holding your um, knees like a baby. And start drawing circles with your knees. Deeply in. Yes, great job, Lucy. And out, Miranda. Up, out, down, in. Up, out, down, in. Yes, flex the right torso is easier. Deepening your inhale. You're trying to use the movement to open up the hip bones. Our hip bones is like two balls like a round shape of two balls. So drawing circles is really good. Now draw circles the other direction, in and out. Let's see, it will be easy if you use your right hand on your right calf. Yes, the other direction, yes. Like we stir in the pot. Deeply in and out. Are you ready for the big moment? Both hands onto the feet. Now you are a baby. Your feet is your telephone. Say hello, hello, hello. Open up your hips when you're doing this. Breathe in and out. Hello. Bye, I'm going to call you again. Okay, put down this feet. Going to the other side, lift the left feet up. Using the right hand to hold onto the flex left feet. Left hands onto the thighs or calf. Draw circles, one direction, up, open, push it up, down, in, up, push it up, down, in, yes, draw circles, deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale. One more, in, and out, draw circles, the other direction, in, and out, in, and out, special movement number two, both hands onto the feet, bring it close to the left ears and say hello, hello, I love you, oh, I'm calling myself, yeah, bye, see you next time, then put on your feet down, amazing job. So I'm going to set up my feet. I'm going to put my right into the bottom. Flex the right toes. Let me give you a better light. Give me one second. Yes, here. So put the right feet down first. And bring the left feet up. Using the hands to move the left feet onto the right thighs. Very close to the knees, but not onto the knees. Yes. Then for Lissy, grab the butt cheek up. So you are sitting on your sitting bone. Yes, use your hands to grab the butt cheek up. Flex the toes. Yes. Try to get this feet closer to the inside. For Miranda, this is how our magic pillow helps. Is that the blue pillow behind you? Use the pillow. Put it underneath your knees so you feel supported. Yes, whatever you are, good job getting there, feeling the hips opening. Yes, try to relax your hands. It's okay, the pillow will support you, yes. When you can lengthen the spine deeply, inhale. And deeply exhale, you should feel your left hips opening. Miranda, stay there. Let's say you're more flexible. Hands up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Coming forward. 45 degrees. Relax the hands anywhere. And just have three breaths here. Feeling your left hips opening. Deepening your inhale. 
You can relax your neck. Shake no. Shake yes. Remember, whatever your body feels now, you have your breath. If this is challenging, deep inhale with me. And sigh out. Ah. Deep inhale again. And sigh out. Ah. Slowly walk your body up. Amazing job. Remove the pillow and straighten up your legs. And shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up. Then setting up onto the other side. Give me one second. Yeah, setting up onto the other side. Put the left feet under. Yeah. And then flex the right feet up. Yes. Put the right feet onto the left thighs. Yes. For Miranda, stay there. For Lissy, use your hands to grab the butt cheek away. Yes. Now, Miranda, same trick. You can use the pillow. Yes, I saw the pillow. Hi, Jesse. I didn't see your text, but we're good. So, um, we are flexing the left feet in the bottom, right feet up to open up the hips. Yes. So, for Lissy, since you're very flexible, you're going to inhale, hands up, everyone else stay there. Exhale, coming forward, 45 degrees, so you feel a deeper right hip opening. Hands onto the mat, deeply, and you could relax your neck. And deeply out. Two more deep inhale. If this is difficult, breathe in with me. And sigh out. Ah. Inhale again. And sigh out. Ah. Slowly walk yourself up. Amazing. Remove all the pillows. Straighten up the legs. Hands onto the back, bend your knees. Swipe it left. And right, left, and right, left, and right. Amazing job. So we're coming to our more portion. I want you to look at the demonstration before we go so it's easier for you to follow later on. So try to swing your legs up the wall, sit super close to the wall, lean back, feet up. So you don't go first, I just a demonstration. For the first one, I'm going to move further away from the wall. Just have my knees 90 degrees. This is pose number one, a squat onto the wall. Pose number two, figure of four. I'm going to flex one toes up, bend it, put it onto close to the knees, but not onto the knees, so I can open up the hips. So that's pose number two. Pose number, so we're going to do both sides. Pose number three, we're coming to a twist. So with the figure of four, I'm going to slide this other leg down, 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 down to the bottom of the wall. Then I'm going to drop the whole, this doesn't move, drop the whole part of the body to the right and lock towards the left. Both sides. So pose number three, it's a twist. Pose number four. I'm going to have my feet onto the wall. Wiggle, 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 wiggle until my hips touch the wall. Pose number four, it's just a straight leg. We're going to do straight leg, pawn legs. When you flex and pawn, this is flex, this is pawn your toes. You're going to feel a different hamstring stretch. The last one that we're going to do, you have space. We're going to go to a small V. But if you have super big space, you can go to like a big V. Then our savasana is going to be legs onto the wall. Great job. So demonstration ends. Come join me. Lie down onto the mat. Feet onto the wall. Check that your neck is straight. So get all the hair out if you have long hair. Move your body further away until your knees are 90 degrees. Bend your knees. Yeah, let's see, you need to move further away. Yes. 
Yes, perfect. Now when you're ready, flex the right toes. Inhale, up the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee. Put the right feet on the left thighs. Then lower your lower back onto the mat. Try to get the right knee as close to the wall as possible without your hands. Yes. Use and gravity to help flex your right toes. We're going to be here for like a little while. Your hands could be in T-shape, your hands could be next to your ears. When we work on the laptop all week, we have our armpit closed. So use this opportunity to open up your armpit. Deeply in. And deeply out. With every sound of the bell, relax your body more. Gently open up your eyes. The pose doesn't change. Now slide the left feet towards the bottom of the wall. Slide, 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 slide. Hands in T-shaped position. Open up your arms. So Jesse, we're still in figure of four. So come to figure of four. Yes, right feet onto the, yes. Then slide your left feet down the wall. Slide, 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 slide. Yes, hands in T-shaped. Drop the bottom of the body, bottom half to the left, and look towards your right fingers. Feeling the amazing twist, close your eyes. Try to deepen your inhale. And exhale. Relax your head. Relax your belly, twist deeper. Relax your back. With every sound of the bell, relax deeper into the pose. Gently open up your eyes. Bring both feet onto the wall. Observe, is there any difference between your hips? Setting up for figure four onto the other side. Flex the left feet onto the wall, sorry, onto the sky. Bend the left knee, put the left feet onto the right thighs, close to the knees. Flex the toes more. So, Jesse, try to get the ankle onto the thighs so you feel more supported. Yes, perfect. Hands in T-shape. If you want to feel more, the trick 
is to come onto the upper arm and what go tiny bit closer to the wall. If this is way too much for your left hip, what go further away. So you're using the wall to support your legs. And yen, when you can completely relax the muscle, you could go deeper. So the wall is our best friend today. Deepening the inhale and exhale. With every sound of the bell, relax more. Feeling the left hip opening up slowly. Relax your eyebrows and your face. Relax your thighs and your hips more. Without changing position, gently open up your eyes. You're going to slide the right feet down to the bottom of the wall. Slide, 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 slide. Yes, great job, everyone. Drop the lower part of the body towards the right, look towards your left fingers. Feeling this amazing figure of four twists. Deeply in. And relax your hips. Relax your thighs. Relax your belly so you can twist more. Letting everything go. Try to deepen your inhale and lengthen your exhale. Slowly, gently bring your feet onto the wall. Before we go, wet goes, just straighten your feet up 45 degrees onto the wall. Feeling if there's any difference on the hips. Feeling this amazing position when you have the mat to support your upper back, your lower back letting it sink in, and the wall to hold the weight of your feet. Remember when we are doing yin, we are trying to relax as much as possible so we could go deeper. The wall is an amazing friend for your stretch. And when you're ready, we're coming to a bit of wiggling. So come to the elbow 
and the upper arm. Bend your knees. Try to wiggle yourself until your hips touches the bottom of the wall. There's no rush. Slowly wiggle there. The more you can get your hips closer to the wall, the more supported you will feel. However, if this is too much for your hips, wiggle a bit away. Listen to your body. When you have reached there, just straighten the legs. Feeling how supported it is to relax your lower back, relax your mid back, relax your upper back and your arms onto the mat. Then your whole leg is supported by the wall. We are just going to inhale, flex our toes, pawn our toes towards our face. Exhale, pawn the toes towards the sky, feeling the hamstrings and your calf stretch. Inhale, pawn the toes towards the face. Exhale, stretch the toes away. Inhale, pawn the toes towards the face. Exhale, stretches it away. One more in. And out. Relax your feet. Your legs here, closing your eyes for just three breaths. Notice how your body feels. If there's any changes on the calf, the hamstring, or the hips, letting your body relax, letting your body feel supported. Then gently open up your eyes. We are coming to our feet to open up our inner thighs and hips. You could be in a small V, you could be in a big V. Listen to your body. Whatever you are, we're going to be here for 10 deep long breaths. So find a place that makes you feel good. Closing your eyes, relax your face. Deepen your inhale. Exhale, release the calf. Deepen your inhale. Exhale, release your knees. It could be bent. Deepen your inhale. Exhale, relax your thighs. Deepen your inhale. Exhale, relax your hips. Deepen your inhale. Exhale, relax your lower back. Deepen your inhale. Exhale, relax your whole back and your shoulders. Letting your body sinking into the mat. Letting gravity open up your hips. Relax here, closing your eyes. Relax your eyebrows. And relax your jaw. With every sound of the bell, let your body relax more.
gently open up your eyes. Using your hands onto the back of the thighs. Bend your knees and using your hands to slowly bring it together. Bend your knees towards the chest. Give yourself a big, big squeeze. Observe that any difference onto the hips. Feet onto the wall. One last pose. Come to butterfly onto the wall. So slide the feet together. Open up the knees to the side. Yes, and just relax the hands. Let your knee force. Let your hips relax. Doesn't matter if your feet want to slide down. Just close your eyes and enjoy the pose. No tension in the body. Deep breath in and exhale. Stretch the feet up to the wall again. And you have two choice for Sapasana. You could have feet up the wall to further opening up your hips. Or you could wiggle your body away and just lie flat like normal Sapasana. Pick the option that makes you feel good. Make sure you're warm and comfortable. Then when you are ready, closing the eyes, relax your head, relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders, relax your arms, your wrists and the fingers. Relax your shoulders. Relax the upper back, mid back, and lower back. Relax your hips, your thighs, your knees your calf, your ankle, and your ten toes. Completely relax every part of the body. Savasana.
slowly coming back to the room. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, slide your feet down, bring your knees towards the chest, give it a big hug. With the right claws, roll towards the right hand side. Use your right hand to push yourself up into a sitting position. Closing the eyes. Observe how your body feels. How does your hips feel? Deeply inhale for four, two, three, four. Long, smooth exhale for six, three, four, five. Six, inhale for four. Exhale for six. Last, inhale for four. Exhale for six. Relax the breath. Feel the calmness. Feeling the stillness. Put your hands, both hands, onto your heart. We are going to sing one om and three shanti to end the class. Deep inhale into the belly. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands in prayer position in front of your heart. May your heart be filled with peacefulness, stillness, and gratefulness. Bowing forward, Namaste.